All right, so we are getting ready for the epic Hanuman Chalisa chanting. The third version of it is happening this coming Saturday. And this morning, I want to welcome uh, Pundit Ganesh Maharaj. He is joining us to tell us a little bit more information about it. Good morning to you, Pundit. Morning. Thank you very much for having me here. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. You ready for them Saturday? We are very ready. <laughs> all right. So first of all, tell me what this event is all about. All right. So with regards to the situation that our country is in, crime and all these uh, insecurities, in the Hindu tradition, mm -hmm. Lord Hanuman is one of these uh, deities or angels, if you call uh, like that, who represents strength, wisdom, service, devotion, and uh, the idea that if you keep God in your heart and God in your lips and you believe wholeheartedly that God will bring you through what he's put you to, mm -hmm. you will succeed. And he has succeeded in our scriptures in the past. So he's a icon of uh, strength and success. So. There is a prayer, mm -hmm. 40 verses long in Hindi. It's called the Chalisa. So Chalis means uh, 40. And uh, the Hanuman Chalisa, 40 verses in praise of him. And it's said that if you chant this regularly, you are given the blessings of protection of God's grace, God's mercy, according to our uh, beliefs in mm -hmm. uh, Hinduism. So this is why uh, 2015, we had a gathering of about 14,000 people at the NCIC Nagar. Uh, in uh, 2016, we had about just about 12,000 in uh, Orangefield, where the 85 feet tall Murti is, the Hanuman statue. And uh, we just thought it's it's right. It's yeah. about time. We just want to get people to come back out, come together and pray. And we're just going to make it happen on uh, this coming Saturday, 27th at the NCIC Nagar. Well, it sounds like something that, of course, strength in numbers is the rule. But who can attend this type of event? Everybody. Anybody. So it's not restricted to Hindus alone. It's not. So we as a, a few Hindu groups have come together to facilitate and to host the event. Um, as you asked that, we are going to be having uh, messages of greetings and prayer from the First Peoples because um, our executive chairman, Raviji of the Kendra, believes that we are all living on their land mm -hmm. still. So uh, by right of passage, mm -hmm. they'll be part of the opening ceremony as well as uh, the members of the Baptist faith who also uh, believe in Lord Shiva and Lord Hanuman as well. So they're going to be bringing greetings, offering their opening prayers, and then we'll have our proceedings going after that. Beautiful. Fantastic. I, I want to find out, though, in terms of people, so everybody's coming, everybody's invited. Mm -hmm. But in terms of uh, the Chalisa itself, mm -hmm. do we have to know it in advance? Do we get a book to follow along? How does the chanting aspect of it work? So my... Um, my department is production, okay. so I'm taking care of the stage, sound, light, screens, and everything. Uh, there'll be huge screens across the venue where the words will be put up mm. ever so often. Um, that's for those who don't know it. And then uh, there'll be the singing, which is a, a chorus and repeat sort of session mm. where you can follow. And um, within the three-hour aspect from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., where we sing the Chalisa, uh, you can follow, you can be guided with the groups on stage. So let's get a little insight into what exactly it means. I understand the purpose, but actually translated, what sort of message are we sharing? It begins, Jai Hanuman Gyan Guna Sagar. This is our day, this is a version of Hindi. Uh, glory to you, who is an ocean of wisdom, you who have uh, overcome your enemies, you who with God's grace have done the unthinkable. And uh, in short, it's 40 verses that re uh, reiterate impossible is Nothing. Nothing. Mm -hmm. I like that it speaks it into being already. It of is not course. an ask, but an actual, well, intention, if you will. It is. That it's we a can all partake of a declaration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really appreciate that. And granted that you uh, mentioned that we've and we've encountered a couple of iterations. We've had a couple of years where we've done this before. Mm -hmm. How often is this? Should this happen, or will this happen moving forward? Will this become an annual event? Well, with regards to the preparation. Um, and then the collaboration from uh, members of the diaspora uh, from all over the world. We're thinking to have it every three years. Okay. Um, last one was about nine years ago. So we're thinking now with the coming together of everyone. Um, incidentally, there's a team from Guyana who's coming to announce their date okay. for their event. Okay. And there's a contingent from uh, Canada and from the US who'll be coming as well and Suriname. So. Every three years, we'll have one here in Trinidad, and we're looking at um, later this year to go to Guyana and carry that power of prayer and devotion there. 
What do we what do we hope to achieve at the end of the chanting? It is the collective bargaining from all of us as God's children for God's grace and mercy. And uh, we are seeking to have many people come together and have maybe smaller events throughout mm -hmm. the country, mm -hmm. which we will encourage and we will support. And uh, for anyone who wishes to um, learn more, we'll have lots of people there and there's information booths who can learn more about chanting, about meditation, about holistic lifestyles, uh, vegetarianism, and all these different things. Tell me about the, about the protection threads. These are special threads that are tied on the wrist of devotees who attend uh, prayer meetings in Hinduism called pujas. And uh, incidentally, they have been gotten from Ayodhya, which is where in January the temple was uh, consecrated and installed. Uh, in, according to the Ramayana, which is uh, one of our texts, one of our scriptures, mm -hmm. it's central to the kingdom of Lord Rama, whose exploits are in the Ramayana. And when that temple was consecrated, uh, there's a special string called a Raksha. Raksha means to protect. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've gotten 20,000 as a gift by the High Commission of India. And it's already here. And it'll be given free to everyone who attends. Entrance is free. Parking is free to engage in the worship uh, of the different places. Free to sit and sing, chant, listen is free. And we have free meals for all 20,000 expected attendees at the end of the program. Swaha Incorporated, Chinmaya Mission, Isha Foundation, Hindu Prachara Kendra, Shivdaram Sabha, many, many organizations have come together to uh, facilitate this gathering of God's children for God's praise. And absolutely necessary to have that joint effort because this mm -hmm. is a massive endeavor. It is. But I do want to get a little bit of the flow of things mm -hmm. because persons can come there as early as 2 in the evening. 2 in the afternoon. And I imagine not the entire time will be spent chanting. There are booths, as you mentioned, and other things mm -hmm. to patronize. So walk me through what the day might actually look like. So um, if you envision coming into the NCI Sinagar, you come straight ahead. Uh, that right there is our... Um, Incident center and our welcome area, our information booth. Right. You make your way to the left, and what is normally the regular main hall of NCIC? It's the prayer station, where, as you know, in Hinduism, there's the murtis or the statues and all these different spots. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a few of these, uh, and uh, pundits have come to assist, helping people making offerings. So, regular offerings of flowers, fruits, uh, special sweets called root, and all that. If you all come, I'll put aside some for you, <laughs> right? And uh, after that, you have a seat anywhere there in the in the audience where we're gonna be spreading from today. Mm -hmm. I'll be there, spreading out twenty thousand chairs. Okay. All right. And then uh, that's from two p.m. until that time at three p.m. There's a special uh, homa. Homa means hawan. Hawan is a, a fire offering, mm -hmm. where it's uh, ghee and other rice and other greens. Uh, again, wherever the sacred fire is uh, consecrated, that place becomes holy. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, when Moses was spoken to from the burning bush, yeah. same idea. Wherever the sacred fire is, that place is holy. Right. So, uh, fire offerings ongoing. And at 5 p.m., different pundits shall be there to lead mm. the singing of the Chilisa. The Chilisa itself takes about five or six minutes, so we can have an interchange on the big stage. Uh, four spots or five spots where different pundits, Pandit uh, Narad Gosain, Pandit Krishna Ramdeen, Pandit Sunil Sitahal Maharaj, Pandit Lachmiat Maharaj, myself, uh, different groups will send representatives. It'll be non-stop from 5 p.m. straight till 8 p.m., a uh, different tempo. It's being orchestrated by Rana Mohip, who is one of the professors at UTT, mm -hmm. one of the most respected individuals in all of Indian and Western music in the Western Hemisphere, and is a contingent of uh, one drummer just came last night from New York. And, uh, you know, we have... It's a complete effort. It's just for God's praise, and in that, God, we are chil your children are here before you, and we just, it's a gen general reminder, you know, God, we need your help, we need tell your protection. Me, tell me a little bit more about, about the, what the fire represents. Sacred fire is uh, what you call Agni Tattwa, and as you know, in the science, nothing ever is destroyed. Matter can never be destroyed, it simply changes from one state to the other, mm -hmm. and whatever is put in the sacred fire goes up into the heavens, and it's believed that by the chanting of the Vedic mantras, the verses, it will reach its destination. So, fire is purity, fire is cleansing, and the fire is uh, sanctity. So once the fire is consecrated there, it's mm -hmm. believed that the heat of the fire and the aroma of the ingredients in the smoke that permeates the atmosphere will cleanse all those who are there and all those who will be witnessing. Just to see the sacred fire itself is a blessing. 
Now, you know, we're learning so much from this conversation only. Imagine what can be had when we actually visit the site. I know that persons are expected to participate, but would you uh, invite persons to bring along family members and even small children to this sort of event as well? It is a family-friendly site, a uh, family-friendly site. It's a children-friendly site. We're going to have uh, EHS, the ambulance, fire, uh, police, um, private security as well. And uh, we're going to have uh, safety wardens all around the venue to ensure that kids are taken care of. There'll be a play area for the young ones. There's a special area for those who are differently abled. And there'll be uh, what I want to call the, the, the baby changing stations mm -hmm. for those uh, not too comfortable ones. Yeah. Now that there'll be a quiet zone down to the back, uh, which is kind of closer to the food, you know, I'm just saying. So, uh, good it place to, to be. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But I understand you're asking people to wear red as well. Red is the color of Hanuman. It symbolizes oh. victory, it symbolizes strength, and uh, with regards to that, uh, having a sea of red is our, our plan. Uh, other people who are doing different jobs, like myself, I'll be in white, mm -hmm. you know, and there's our production team in black. So if when we do our, our aerial shot, courtesy SSR Productions, we're hoping to have the national well, colors represented well mm -hmm. within the uh, congregation there. After nice. all, it is for the nation. It right. makes absolute sense. Uh, so if persons want to volunteer to be a part of it, do you guys still need help? Or you're, oh, you're, yeah, we need you're help. Good. We need, need help to pack chairs. Yeah, I was just <laughs> going to say, 20,000 chairs are not going to want to yeah. pack themselves. That's right. How uh, can they reach out? 3284931. 3284931. You can go to Facebook, uh, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, anywhere, and send us messages. Epic Chanting TT. E P I C. Epic, because it's a huge event. Uh, chanting <laughs> C H E N T I N G TT. On all platforms, mm. send us a message on uh, any platform and we will respond to you uh, as soon as possible. Now, can I ask, granted that the platform ex platforms rather exist outside of this one day event, what will be the other bits of information or usage for the platforms post the event? It would be to have a constant flow of information with regards to uh, practices within Hinduism and other spiritual practices. Uh, We're going to encourage other faiths to because you would see it says Epic Chanting, mm -hmm. TT. That's the platform's name. It's not Epic Hindu Chanting. Mm -hmm. It's not Epic anything. It's going to be a platform where we can encourage and foster togetherness where anyone who wants to have large-scale events of this nature, we're going to document all of we're doing into portfolios and assist others. So you want to call it a crusade, you want to call it a gathering, you want to call it a chanting, whatever you want to call it, we want to ensure that others can do what we're trying to do or what we have done before. This is our third version. And uh, as much as we can help others, our uh, brothers and sisters, you know, in whichever way they pray as well, we are there for them. And that's beautiful to hear because I, I feel like too often in society we hear about segregation and separation. So it's lovely to hear not just that you are inviting people to come together, but you're opening your doors as well so that you can go to other people yes. and we can put on these. Because I, y you mentioned the nation and we need it as much as we possibly we can. Do. Um, what are, uh, have you encountered any, any challenges in, in approaching it from this perspective? So we had a flyer distribution drive, mm -hmm. right? So that flyer that you have there, it's, it's a glossy. Uh, and uh, we took the opportunity because uh, in Hinduism, uh, to be invited is called Niyota. Mm -hmm. It is the most personal way of getting things done. Mm -hmm. So we went on a flyer distribution drive and we were putting flyers, um, people's mailboxes given to them in their hands and all these things. And one person told us at one point, um, um, we're not buying anything today. We're not, you know. <laughs> and then we, we had a chance to speak to them. They realized it's not we're selling anything, that you're being invited. And again, it's an invitation. Right. We're not demanding you come. Right. We're not charging you to come. So it's an invite. You can come if you wish. And it's going to be uh, streamed on different radio stations mm -hmm. uh, during the day. It's going to be live on our Facebook page. Uh, it's going to be live on multiple platforms. Just type in Epic Hanuman Chanting on the 27th. You'll find it somewhere. And um, I believe with uh, you know news reels and all these things, we'll have uh, information put out in the course of the next coming days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds like the challenge of telling people you're not buying it, or selling anything was the biggest challenge. And I hope that yeah. that is the biggest challenge you'll face as we all it was. Yeah. seek to benefit from this yeah. particular endeavor. Mm -hmm. A beautiful endeavor indeed. Yeah, Mama Pandit, I want to thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank and you for having you. me here. Not a problem at all. I want to wish you all the best for this coming Saturday. I know that people are going to turn up in their numbers and we're going to, the nation will benefit from it. Yes, hopefully. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. I'm putting it out there. The same way you're putting it out there to speak it into existence, I'm speaking it, it into will existence. succeed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's Pundit 
Ganesh Maharaj representing the NCIC. Of course, we're getting ready for the epic Hanuman Chalisa chanting. It's on this coming Saturday at the well at the NCIC Nagar. Nagar. Correct. Yes, and you can head on down. It's absolutely free. Gates open from 2 p.m. We start the chanting from 5 p.m. But go from 2. Make sure you get a nice seat. Make sure you get a chance to check out all the boots that they have and all that good stuff. We take that break and we come back with more in our morning show. Stay tuned. <laughs>